hello guys welcome to my youtube channel how you guys doing hope everyone is doing fine so guys today hey charlie i want to share my experience as a nigerian traveler traveling to ghana i want to share my experience the experience i had with ghana immigration both you know traveling by land crossing through the Aflawu border and also uh, traveling by air, the immigration at the airport. So before I start telling you guys about, you know, this experience I had with Ghana immigration, if this is the first time that you are tuning into my channel, I have a whole lot of interesting videos in my channel. You can just scroll down and then you can watch them help me like help me subscribe help me share if you're if, if this is your first time you're tuning into my channel you're welcome you're welcome please don't go nowhere watch this video from the beginning down to the end you can tell me what you think you can your opinion in the comment section the comment section is open as long as you're going to comment respectfully charlie i'm going to reply you respectfully that's me okay and if you're a returning viewer you know among those that have been watching my videos whenever i drop uh you know a video i want to tell you guys that i had you guys plenty plenty you understand like i love you guys so much and i'm grateful that you know you guys always make out chance you know even with your tight schedule to watch my videos i really appreciate that yeah my ghana family one love one love one love one love so charlie <clears throat> back to my travel experience my experience with the ghana immigration so before i traveled before i traveled you know to ghana that was in 2017 for the first time you know i had to go and you know do my passport you know but there was delays in the international passport i went to do yeah you come today come tomorrow come today come tomorrow like there in nigeria so I asked and told them like, what am I going to do? Like, I like, I don't have much time because school would would be resuming, you know, not very fast. So I needed to go stay at my other brother's place for holidays, at least new environments. That was my first time going to Ghana, so I was very excited about it. But since the international passport delays, 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 ah, I was like, so how am I going to do it? I can't travel without a passport. So the, I, I, that was the first time I learned about ECOWAS passport. So I was like, okay, since ECOWAS passport, we can use it to travel. I'm like, oh, why not? Why shouldn't I do it? And that one didn't even take time. I think a day or two, it came out. And then I started packing my bags. I was so excited. You need to, you, you needed to see how excited I was about traveling to Ghana because, you know, for, for many years, you know, I've always wanted to visit Ghana. You know, I've heard a lot about Ghana, watching Ghana movies. When I was a kid growing up, I was watching Ghana movies. You know, even their local movies like Kuma Wood, where they speak their, their local language. Though I don't understand it, but, you know, they'll be writing in English. And I'll be, even when they don't write in English, I'll just be following up. I just, I've just always loved everything Africa. You know, I always watch their movies. So I just hoped that, yes, one day, one day, I'm going to visit Ghana. And yes, my dream came to pass. So back to my passport. So I collected my passports. And then the next thing was to book. Uh, I went I went with, I think, I think it was ABC Transport. So booked, bought the tickets. And then I traveled from the eastern part of Nigeria down to lagos state nigeria i arrived lagos i arrived the park you know i uh, where we are going to take off from 10 p.m at night charlie no i say i know google they waste money for hotel so i slept in the park abc transport the next day exactly 6 a.m we took off straight to ghana so after driving for so many hours, passing countries like Benin Republic, Togo, you know, and then we got to Aflawu border. Yeah, we got to Aflawu border. That's the border between uh, Togo and Ghana. You know, like that Aflawu border, once you pass it, you are getting, you are going into Ghana. 
if you're coming out of it you're going into togo because togo and ghana they share you know land border so on getting to the aflawu border you know we are told that we needed to come down from the bus and you know go into the, the the building there so we went into the building and then you you come with your your bag or your box you know your luggages and then they will ask you to open it of course i think those people are the immigration uh, they should be the with the ones at the border i don't really know maybe the immigration or the police but i didn't see i think it's the immigration okay so we were asked to open our bags our boxes and all that and then we did that but i guess what i was the last person to leave that that post that day i was the last person so other people they were starting their bags like you know how are you hope you're like you know interacting with the travelers but the particular person that sat in my box was not friendly at all but the other guys we are friendly but it, it, it was a young lady searching my box she wasn't friendly at all she just kept on searching 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 like as if say something did the bag inside actually so me i was scared but i knew nothing was in my bag or like the way they were, she was searching she was wearing i think a glove hand gloves and then i was the last person to leave there i was the last person to enter the bus ha actually nothing they see for my box so, so i was happy and then we entered you know we entered the volta region you know i was seeing a whole lot of what i call them swamp river or what's beside the roads yeah and i was seeing fishermen fishermen you know you know in there fishing i was like wow this place is very very beautiful like it was breathtaking the the the, the view so that this is for the land you know land border so let me tell you my experience with immigration at the airports in ghana so the experience i had with the immigration at the airport is quite different from the experience i had you know traveling by road now the immigration guys i met at the airport they were very very friendly in fact they are friendly up to the extent up to the extent you know we started, i started interacting with them you still understand we started interacting you know you understand discussing the one of the guy was telling me oh charlie nigeria i say yeah i say we used to read your readers back then in school i'm like and he was even mentioning the name about like i don't i don't i don't do i don't do so i had no issues like everything was smooth we discussed all i had to do was to you know do some capturing yeah some capturing and some feeling of you know forms and that was it those forms were like filling in your information like even where with my exact address in nigeria like where i'm coming from and all that so and after that charlie nothing else like it was just so uh you know so free at least freer than the time i traveled i passed through the border by bus but then something happened i need to tell you guys when i was going back to nigeria at the airport you know this immigration guy like we would talk we were discussing like we're too friendly then i had some cds leftover cds in my pocket and i wanted to give the give him that cds and charlie i think it was his boss that said what's going on there what's happening and the boss was like it was harsh what's happening what, what are you trying to do i'm like oh nothing he said, i thought you were trying to give him something i said oh no no not nothing i don't know that the boss thought i was trying to you know you know he's not bribe nothing it was just you know like the cities i had in my pocket but maybe it was against their policy and all that so charlie out of fear with me i know one while like, i started carrying that cities to put from my pocket <laughs> i took it back home to nigeria i still have that cities it's still there i have kept it it's going to serve as a you know whenever i look at it i'll be like yeah ghana well i'll be back to ghana i'm going to visit i'll try and visit, visit ghana again sometime this year so yes Ghana immigration they are very professional i just like the way you know how friendly they are and all that that i had an that i had an experience with one of them that is not friendly doesn't mean that all of them are not friendly like i told you there are a whole lot of them there like they are very friendly i thank you guys for watching this video up to this extent no Ghana immigration did not do me edited bad or crazy uh, yeah if you, if you are watching this video hoping i was going to say anything bad against them charlie no 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 i've never had any bad experience with them you know that searching of bag yeah i got scared because i was just but nothing 
thank you guys guys once again for watching this video and see you guys in the next video if you have not subscribed please kindly do that bye